Hello everyone, this is Corey at security.org and today I'm going to show you what it's like to have an all things Ring home security house. Some may say the ultimate Ring house. Now Ring offers a broad selection of home security devices from video doorbells to indoor outdoor cameras to home security systems even with 24 seven professional monitoring all at a super reasonable price. In my home, and the devices that I'm gonna show you today are the Ring Alarm home security system, three Ring video doorbells because why not, and a Ring outdoor camera. I'm gonna show you how all of these devices work together to keep your property safe. Run some tests on this system, show you footage samples from all the cameras, and also to show you some of my favorite features with the system generally. Hopefully by the end of today's video, you will have a good idea whether or not Ring is an appropriate choice for you and your family's home security needs. But let's just get right into it. Let me give you a tour of all of the devices that we have today. Number one, we have the Ring Alarm home security system. Now this consists of the base station, the keypad, the contact sensor, the motion detector, as well as a range extender. Now, the rest of my devices, all my cameras and everything, they're all set up outside. So let me take you outside and show you what's going on with those. And here we are outside taking a tour of all of our Ring devices. Number one, we have the Ring video doorbell wired. Next, there is the simply named Ring Video Doorbell, which is right here. Up on the side of the house is the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. Zooming in, there it is. Lastly, at the front door, Ring Video Doorbell Pro 2. Let me start off by saying that the real beauty of the Ring ecosystem is the integration. The Ring Always Home mobile application bringing all these devices together under one dashboard. All of these sensors work together fairly seamlessly. I mean, the sensors from the home security system, along with all of your cameras, they can all be sort of intertwined in a way that you'll see as we go along in this video. Let's begin with breaking down the details of the Ring Alarm home security system. Now this is a reasonably straightforward home security system. Those of you who have had home security systems before, all these parts will be familiar to you. You have the base station, which is gonna be communicating with all of your devices that let you know what's going on in your home. This system is a DIY, do-it-yourself installation process. In fact, all Ring devices are DIY installation and actually pretty straightforward through the Ring Always Home mobile application. No tools are needed. For example, on your motion detector, look at you have adhesive on the back, so it makes it a peel and stick process. No tools needed, pretty straightforward. You can get instant notifications whenever an event is detected from any of your sensors. For example, motion detected from your motion detector, entry detected from your contact sensor in this case. Just how fast are those instant notifications? Well, let's test it out. Here is my contact sensor closed. Here is my mobile device. And here we have the motion. Now let's test that notification speed on the motion detector. So detector here, phone here, and motion happening. Now you may have noticed that I'm actually using a previous generation of ring contact sensor. And that is actually because the second generation that I have here, we've been using it for a year and the batteries died on this. I don't have replacement batteries. So it is nice to note that you can interchange previous generation Ring Alarm products with the second generation system. You can arm and disarm the system from a number of different locations. For example, in the Ring Always Home mobile application, you can tap arm home, arm away, like so, arm away. Exit delay started. And there is the exit delay happening. The countdown in the app, you get a little visual representation on the base station, even on the keypad, and you hear those audio cues as well. You can also use the keypad by entering your PIN number, selecting your arming mode, Exit delay started. and you get a similar process here. Even a little status light on the keypad itself indicating where it is in the arming process. 
Arming with Alexa is another option. Maybe you have an Echo Show device like here. You can just say, Alexa, arm away. Ring is armed in away mode. You have 60 seconds to exit. And there you go. Finally, you can even arm and disarm using Ring's online dashboard, which I love for many reasons beyond that functionality, but I'll get into that in just a little bit. Now the siren on this system is insanely loud, hence my hearing protection here. Any intruder that comes into your space and sets this off is gonna wanna be away as quickly as possible. So I've armed my system, you can see the red light on the base station, and I'm gonna trigger it right now. So prepare yourself, maybe turn the volume down a little bit on your device, or just prepare for extremely, extremely loud noise. Ear protection on. And here we go, I'm gonna trigger the sensor right now. So likewise, when an alarm is triggered, you'll receive a notification on the action that you wanna take. This leads us to the topic of self-monitoring and professional monitoring. And fortunately with Ring, you get both of those options. In a nutshell, self-monitoring essentially refers to the process of you receiving notifications from all of your devices and deciding what actions are appropriate. So for example, if your alarm is triggered, you will be notified of that event, but it will be your responsibility to take further action, maybe contacting the authorities. With professional monitoring, on the other hand, if your alarm goes off, you have a team of professionals, 24 seven real people that are monitoring the situation and will try to contact you. If they are not able to get in contact with you and verify that everything is okay, they will request emergency services to your home. Ring includes this professional monitoring service as part of their Ring Protect Plus plan. Now that is a monthly subscription, extremely affordable. Currently it is $10 per month. And what is really nice is that it is a no contract situation. You can go month to month with Ring professional monitoring. Now just a few more notable elements with the Ring alarm system. One being that it has both battery and cellular backup. So if you were to lose power, lose your internet connection, you don't have to worry that the information won't get out to you, to the professional monitoring service. You're gonna be covered in that sense. Number two, I just love the visibility of the event history with the Ring Alarm system. You see it has its own tab and you can see the status of all the sensors. Anytime that changed, the status of the hub, anytime anything changed, you can see it all in that history. Then the third and final note is just how customizable the modes are with this system. So both home and away, you can decide which specific devices will be active. Additionally, you can decide on the entry and exit delays for each of those modes. So everything that I've covered so far has focused mainly on the Ring Alarm home security system, but let's see how this is gonna work with the rest of the devices in your Ring ecosystem in our Ring home, and that is the cameras. Let's take a look. The biggest disclaimer that I have about Ring cameras generally is that if you want to unlock the full feature set, for example, 60 days of video history, the ability to download and share videos, people only mode, rich notifications, you need to have a subscription to Ring Protect. Without that subscription, your camera will not be recording events. You will not be able to download and share anything. So in my opinion, I think it's a no brainer to go with that Ring Protect plan. So let me first speak generally about the Ring cameras and sort of the shared feature set that you'll get no matter what device you purchase. And then we'll go into each specific device that I have in my Ring house, show you samples from each of those cameras. I love that Ring is continually updating the Ring Always Home app, bringing new features to the table and extending those features to devices that have already been released. It sort of gives me the feeling and a little bit of comfort that my hardware might last a little bit longer before being obsolete when the company is continually releasing features and updates for my not so brand new product. And generally, while more premium Ring devices will have more premium features, it is nice to see that even in budget devices such as the Ring Video Doorbell Wired, you can get options such as people-only mode. So full steam ahead with the general features of the Ring cameras. Well, you're getting a 60-day video history with these cameras, which is really, really nice. You can go back and look at any event that has happened. 
Furthermore, really easy to download and share these clips right in the Ring Always Home app, or you can use Ring's online dashboard and just sort, view, download right from that dashboard, which I really, really love doing. You can access a timeline for each of your cameras. So go in, check out a live view. Additionally, you can scroll back and look at past events. Another feature within the timeline is snapshot capture, where your camera will take a photograph at a set interval and then stitch all of those images together to create what is essentially a time lapse, giving you an idea of what was happening over a long period of time. Another cool feature with Ring cameras are rich notifications, which essentially means when you get that notification of what's going on with your camera, you'll also get a snapshot of what's going on, really providing you, really painting the picture of what's going on in your space. Ring cameras also now have the ability to record up to 120 seconds at a time. So whenever there is an event, recording starts, it can record up to two minutes. And I love this. I love not having to worry that my clip is going to cut off before the event is actually finished. There are a number of ways that you can manage the alerts on your Ring cameras. This is primarily done through motion settings. For example, you can add and edit multiple motion zones. So really dial in what parts of an image you want to focus on for that activity. You can also adjust the general motion sensitivity of your camera. So a little bit less, a little bit more, depending on how much motion you want to pick up. As I mentioned before, Ring has people only mode available across their devices. And this ensures that you only have alerts when people are actually spotted. And finally, you have the classic motion schedules. So you can create a schedule for your cameras. Say, I only want to have recording happen between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. You can do that with the Ring Always Home app. Another really cool feature is the ability to link devices. So for example, motion at my front door can trigger a recording at my back door and my garage cameras. And lastly, there's the integration of the Amazon Smart Assistant with your camera. So for example, if you have an Amazon Echo Show device, you can watch live streams from your camera here or motion clips. Now let's shift to the video doorbell specific features. Now when somebody rings your Ring video doorbell, you will receive a notification on your device. You'll be able to answer that call. If you're not able to answer the call, some Ring Video doorbells support smart responses. One of those are quick replies, essentially pre-recorded messages that can be played if you can't answer. The other smart response is an Alexa greeting, which is available on premium Ring Video doorbells. And this allows Alexa to actually interact with whoever's at your front door, take a message, or even give instructions on where to put a package. And if you don't have a doorbell chime in your residence, no worries, you can use your Amazon Echo devices as a chime for your Ring video doorbells. So onto samples from all of the Ring cameras that I have set up in my Ring house, beginning with the Ring Video Doorbell Wired, a budget video doorbell release from Ring, but nonetheless, a really strong performer. Night vision for the Ring Video Doorbell Wired budget device from Ring, how's it look? In my opinion, I think you're getting a pretty good image quality from this Ring Video Doorbell Wired. And as the name would suggest, it is a hard wired video doorbell, no battery option with this model. Now, one element that I really did appreciate from this device was the pre-roll option. So essentially a few seconds before motion is even triggered, that event will be recorded. So you'll get the full picture of what's going on. The next device we're looking at is the plainly titled Ring Video Doorbell. This was released last year. It's another budget option with a built-in battery, but also gives you the ability to hardwire if you so desire. Here's the look you're getting on that Ring Video Doorbell. It's 1080p resolution with a 155 degree field of view. Now, in my opinion, this is another solid option for a video doorbell, especially if you're on a budget and if you're looking for that battery powered option. The final video doorbell we are checking out is the Ring Video Doorbell Pro 
2. Now this is a super premium video doorbell from Ring and it's bringing 3D motion detection with bird's eye view. That's the big headline here. Essentially that means that you'll be able to see a breadcrumb trail of where anyone walked in the space of your video doorbell. It's pretty cool technology, brand new to the game. It'll be interesting to see how this technology develops. Here's the look you're getting on the Ring Video Doorbell Pro 2. It's 1536p resolution. You're getting a 150 degree field of view both horizontally and vertically. This video doorbell marks some really big changes for Ring, shifting from that 1080p resolution to that square 1536p resolution, something a little bit more appropriate for getting that head to toe view from a video doorbell. Additionally, you have color night vision available to you with this video doorbell. So you have maybe a porch light on in front of your door, you're gonna be able to get that full color view in the middle of the night. Definitely a compelling option for a video doorbell if you're looking for something on the more premium side with premium features. Now finally to the last device in my Ring home and that is the always reliable Ring stick-up cam. I have the Ring stick-up cam battery version. Here's the look you're getting on the Ring stick-up cam. It's 1080p resolution and 130 degree field of view diagonally. This camera is a real workhorse. I mean, it's so versatile. We've had it for a good amount of time. It's an indoor outdoor camera and the fact that it's battery powered means that I can place it really wherever I need to get a good look. In addition to the infrared night vision, you also have the ability to have color night vision with the Ring stick up cam battery. So, you know, in my opinion, I think it's just a real no brainer. If you're already part of the Ring ecosystem and need to add some visuals to that system, the Ring stick up cam just makes a ton of sense. So there you have it, all things Ring Home Security, the ultimate Ring House. And let me tell you, I just really appreciate the versatility of this system, the fact that it's able to grow with me, that I can add devices as my space grows, as my needs grow. I love the fact that I was still able to use first generation ring alarm sensors with my second generation ring alarm system. And furthermore, the fact that the camera support is there. The Ring Always Home app is passing along some of those new updates and features to cameras that were released maybe a while ago, which is nice because you don't want to feel like you're stuck with a bunch of obsolete equipment. Just remember that if you want to take full advantage of all of the features of the Ring Alarm home security system and the associated Ring devices, cameras, you're going to definitely want to check out the Ring Protect Plus plan. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think? Is Ring the right home security solution for you and your family? Maybe you're more of a Simply Safe person. Maybe you're more of a Vivint person. Maybe you're more of a Front Point person. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, your source for all things home and digital security, head on over to security.org. We have reviews, we have guides, we have research, everything that you need to keep you and your family safe, you can find it there. Go check it out. And until next time, we will see you in the next video.